I would like to announce a conference that you may be interested in. This is with a heretical group of, of priests. It's called the Association of United States Catholic Priests. They support ordination of women to the diaconate. And their conference is called Where Do We Go From Here? It is June 21st, 24th uh, in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And this group, at their previous conferences, they've had speakers, renowned speakers, such as Cardinal Supich and Bishop McElroy, Father Richard Rohr, Archbishop Gregory, now Cardinal Gregory, um, dissenting theologian Massimo Fagioli, um, plagiarizer Father Thomas Rustica, and a bunch of social justice nuns. Doesn't that sound awesome? Uh, where do we go from here? Um, these heretical people that I'm going to mention, their names, uh, they're going to talk about that. And before I mention their names, I want to say that registration is required, and there was an early bird special. We missed out on saving $20. The cost is $500, so I apologize for not releasing this information sooner. It's uh, $500, and you can reserve a hotel room and room reservations. You can contact, contact the Double Tree by Hilton. Uh, rooms are $119 per night, just the low price of $119. Oh, if booked by me. I'm so sorry, guys. So we didn't get the early bird special on the hotel rooms either. Um, but it's it's going to be well worth it because here are your speakers. Father Michael Jonkis. I didn't realize he was a priest, but he was the one who wrote the popular Catholic song on Eagle's Wings. It's Joe Biden's favorite song. And, uh, yeah, so I guess he supports this heretical organization. So no surprise there. A lot of the uh, Novus Ordo musicians are dissenters. But uh, he's going to give a speech called Living in Apocalyptic Times. What's this going to be about? It's how we need to ordain women to the priesthood? I don't know. Uh, next, we have Bishop William Wack. And you haven't heard a lot about him. Uh, he was ordained in his late 40s. And he is currently, I think, 52 or 53 years old. Very young for a bishop. Um, but he has some interesting photos that were circulating online. And so I'm going to post them on the screen here. And uh, is this what you would expect from a bishop? Uh, I don't know. But he's speaking at the United States Association for Catholic Priests Conference, so check that out. Uh, also, Archvirus Bishop John Wester. I've talked a lot about him on the show. He'll be, uh, he'll be the Assembly Mass Presider. Uh, you can expect all kinds of uh, virus nonsense. And Michael Sean Winters is going to speak. He is a... Um, dissenting reporter for the National Catholic Distorter. And so no, uh, no Catholic ideas there. And retired Bishop Richard Pates uh, will be there as well. He's a retired Bishop of Des Moines, Iowa. And there's also going to be a speaker talk about uh, racism and all that stuff. So this sounds like a, an amazing conference. I want to encourage you to sign up uh, before it's too late and book your spot at this amazing conference of heretical priests, lay people, and, you know, this is interesting, though, because it is in the Diocese of St. Paul, Minnesota, and so what I'm going to say is that Archbishop Hebda could shut this down at any time. He will not, which is um, very awful, and... I think we need to take a look and see if we know any of these people associated with this organization. It's completely heretical. You know, they support women deacons, and that's all we need to know about that. Of course, they support the eco-theology nonsense and all this uh, social justice nonsense, too. But I think that uh, with this organization, we need to speak out against them. Why are bishops not condemning these people? It's because they're fellow bishops. They're not going to condemn them. And Bishop William Wack, he's an up-and-comer in the Francis Church, it appears to be the case. We can tell exactly where these bishops stand, but uh, the sides are lining up. We can tell who is against us, and a lot of these bishops are going to be against us. We need to speak out against them, and uh, we have a voice. We've got to use it. Speak out against heresy. We are the laity, and we will not be silent.